Hey you, scrubs! Are Waluigi and Donkey Kong alright? We were shot multiple times in the thigh and hip. We sent the gorilla to the animal shelter because we only know to treat humans. Are they gonna die? No, we are fine, but... Great! I'm gonna go get them and kill Dutton Garney! Oh no! Sir, they cannot compete! They can barely stand! I don't care if they can't breathe! Delton wants in on this war! He's got it! Get out of my way! There'll be 40,000 bucks, please! The following contest is scheduled for one fall! Introducing first, from parts unknown, the Invisible Man! The Invisible Man has basically put out a challenge to Captain Rhodes for his Universal Championship. However, according to Wilfred Brimley, he has to fight in this match, and if he wins, he will get that title shot at Starfire. Of course, he is going to go up against a man who has something to gain here as well. And his opponent, from New York City, weighing in at 228 pounds, diehard John McClain! John McClain, he is in a bent out of shape mood. He still believes Wilford Brimley is screwing him over. However, Wilford Brimley gave John McClain a this is your last chance warning in which if he beats Invisible Man here tonight he will get involved in a triple threat match against Mario and Conan for the TWA Championship at Starfire. That is if he can come out on top. So, to put it bluntly, contendership is at stake here. And there's the bell. And I don't think John McClain cares where he strikes. As long as he's hit Invisible Man's weak spot. And somehow I think he lifted Invisible Man up for a one-legged atomic drop. Clotheslines him, but Invisible Man comes right back up. Invisible Man seems to have a few tricks up his sleeve. Was that his arm in which he nailed McLean with? McLean's got a hold of the head. That's all he can do at this time. And suplexes him. Although, how do we know how much body weight Invisible Man is carrying? He could either be the skinniest guy in the world or he could be the fattest person in the world. I think John McClane tried to go for a clothesline, but he missed. And now, John McClane, I think, was able to pick up Invisible Man's invisible body weight. And 
John McClain, I think, hit a rib breaker on Invisible Man. But Invisible Man comes back with, I think, a close line. And I think John McClain just lifted Invisible Man up for a gut wrench suplex. Although he can never really tell. Invisible Man with a DDT. And these two trading punches. And McClain just elbowed the referee. That could be a deadly mistake. And Invisible Man just knocked McClain out. Wait a minute, Invisible Man, this is not wise. And he just whacked John McClain with that steel chair. However, the referee didn't see it. Come on, ref, don't, don't, don't do this. Come on, one. Come on. Invisible Man picks up the victory. He gets a title shot against Captain Rhodes at Starfire. Good job, Invisible Man. You got your match for the Universal title at Starfire. And as for you, John, for elbowing my official, you are suspended for one month. Oh, come on! Even though John McClain elbowed the Invisible Man, the referee, excuse me, that's nothing compared to the Invisible Man whacking John McClain with a steel chair. Yet he gets the title shot? Come on! This is a m abortion of justice here. And now John McClain, I think he has had enough and is just going after the Invisible Man with a chair. John McClain is bent out of shape and really, who could blame him? A die-hard stunner sends Invisible Man reeling to the ground. And John McClain is running backstage. No doubt he's going to go after Wilford Brimley. Go, driver. Go, now! Well, it looks like Wilford Brimley just hightailed it and took off in his limo. You can bet John McClain, with a pissed off mood, he had just been cost the title yet again. Thanks for joining us. RJ Peckham signing off.